I'm not spending any time with the Lord, but also like I have nobody around me. And so I was just extremely overwhelmed in school, but also just in life. In the midst of everything that was going on with the restaurant, I just, I needed to get away. You know, when my wife was trying to get me to join a small group, you know, in my mind, I don't need any more friends. And instead of going and hang out with a bunch of people I don't know, I'd rather be hunting or fishing. That was my mentality. My name is Susan DuPont, and uh, we've been going to Pine Lake about 11 months. My name is Shane Burrell. Um, I started going to Pine Lake in 2004. I'm April Haller, and I've been going to Pine Lake for about four years. I graduated from Hines in May and then started in nursing school in, the, in June. We had um, some events that changed the course of our life. We had some medical stuff come up, and we had, I took a completely different path of my career. So we opened up a restaurant and uh, that lasted about two years. Going on the third year, we ended up closing the restaurant. We lost our house. We moved in to the garage of my husband's parents who were kind enough to give us a place. It was really hard and I was just always stressed. I was always overwhelmed. I was just like, I don't have time for anything. I don't have time for community. I don't have time for to talk about what the Lord is teaching me because I don't feel like He's teaching me anything. We attended church on a, you know, on a regular basis and we've been doing that for a long time, but I never did get into the small group deal. I needed to get away. Um, I needed to go out and be in nature and be with God. And so I just started walking every day. I was just angry at the Lord for calling me to nursing because I was like, why are you doing this? I knew something was missing but I, I, I could not figure out what it was. And so I just like completely isolated myself from everybody. One day I'm out walking and I meet this woman named Kim and I walked with her that day. But on the next day, um, I ran into her again and she said, hey, do you do this every day? And I said, yes. And she said, would you like to do it with me? And I said, sure. And so we just started walking together every day. So a group of us girls just started meeting on Monday nights. We would come together and open our Bibles and just talk about what we wanted the Lord to teach us. Like not just what the Lord was teaching us, but also like what we were expecting the Lord to teach us. It was kind of a funny deal. In my head, I had the uh, this idea of a perfect small group that I wanted. And so I reached out to some guys that I knew that you know, they hunted and fished. That never come about. The first night we met, one couple showed up. We have a very good and healthy small group now, but it was not the small group that Shane wanted to build. It was a small group that God put together for me. For the next 10 years, Kim and I walked, and while we walked, she poured into me and she encouraged me, and she was just my friend. I just realized that the thing that I felt like I didn't have time for was the thing that I really needed and was the thing that actually helped me get through nursing school. She told me she was gonna start a small group and asked me if I wanted to be in it, and I said, sure. Um, and so it started out real small, just three of us, and now it's up to 10 to 16 people, depending on the week. I never in a million years would have thought I'd be sitting down in a small group and doing a, a Bible study, and it's meant so much to me and my wife, and I feel like the rest of our small group feels the same way. They are there to lift you up and to support you and to point you back to the Lord. In the midst of everything that I was going through, um, Kim uh, invited me in to do life with her. I've just really learned that in every season, community is so essential, whether life is really good or life is really hard. But not only is community essential, inviting people into that has just been really special because it's allowed me to see the Lord in new and fresh ways. Before I started the small groups, I had never really, in my spiritual journey, I'd never really read the Bible or had a Bible reading plan or studied God's Word. Now. I have a fire that is that is fueled by this group and by the folks that are around me to learn more and want to pursue God's Word, and, and I am in it daily now. Kim introduced me to a relationship with Jesus. Because of that, my life is forever changed.